There's a push to expand a popular Minneapolis trail into St. Paul. Now, the Midtown Greenway runs about five miles through Minneapolis, and now the Met Council wants to look at bringing it across the Mississippi River. Brett Hofflin is live in Minneapolis with the very latest. Brett. Hey, Lindsay, yeah, we're at one end of the Midtown Greenway, and what a night it is. We've seen a lot of people walking, uh, biking. It is sure a good time to be out on the trail, and there's talks of using this bridge right here to keep this trail going into St. Paul, and work that's starting later this year could be pivotal to make this a reality. Uh, just out for a little bike ride. It's his first time on the Midtown Greenway. Just came over from St. Paul, had just wanted a new experience. And for someone who lives across the river, Jordan Wick is intrigued with the idea of the popular Minneapolis Trail connecting with St. Paul. I think it's great. Having more access in, in between the two cities is a major part of just the whole cycling community. They kind of feel a little separated right now. What's stopping us? Let's go. Let's make it happen. That's Soren Jensen, the executive director of the Midtown Greenway Coalition. For years, he's worked to extend this trail to the capital city. Instead of having people exit the Greenway, they could keep going on this railroad bridge. This short line bridge over the Mississippi River is the key factor. What would it take to make this bridge safe for pedestrians and bicyclists? If we could get this bridge taken care of, that's the biggest challenge. The Met Council tells me later this year, a consultant team is going to evaluate the possibility of extending the Greenway all the way to Allianz Field. As for funding, they say it's too early to pinpoint the exact sources, but for projects like this, it typically comes from a mix of federal, state, and local dollars. It's very exciting because we'll end up with an official study. Jensen highlights the economic development opportunities for St. Paul among the many reasons why he feels this is a no-brainer. They would get more people biking, and that's what we're looking for, right? People want to bike on safe, protected trails that are separate from traffic, and that's what this would do. And the Met Council says this study should take about a year or so, so sh we should have some more answers as to what's going to happen to the Greenway at the end of 2025. Live in Minneapolis, Brett Hofland, 5 Eyewitness News. Brett, thank you. Beautiful day there.